Pristina. Uh, I know that you probably uh, had a few lectures about history of Pristina. Uh, it's a very old city, but I'm going to jump, you know, from, from uh, antiquity to modern time. So our date will be 1945, which is the date of end of Second World War and the state how the second world war ended and how the, was the situation of town planning and situation of architecture at all because you are i think i suppose all interested to know only for that so during that i mean at this moment when the second world war stops as a as a country as a as a part of the biggest country like yugoslavia that hasn't been developed since the first world war because after the First World War, these regions were freed from Ottoman Empire and started to belong to another countries. And uh, because that these two wars were so, how to say, subsequent with, with uh, happenings, they couldn't allow to develop or to, uh, to be introduced a new architecture or contemporary architecture from Europe and surround that was happening there. Uh, to Kosovo or Pristina. So Pristina starts uh, comparing to other cities and comparing to other capitals of Yugoslavia but also in the region very very late to, to introduce uh, international style and modern architecture because I think that we all agree on that what means modern architecture and what is international style. I think this is more or same, this, more, more or same, actually it's the same thing, but uh, usually people here in Kosovo or abroad, they mix modern with contemporary. So this is not contemporary. We are talking about modern style and international style. It wasn't, it wasn't done by architects. Actually, architects worked on this building. We, uh, one did that glass facade, the other one did that metal around, the other one painted that red, red. shit around. You see, you have that black and red Albanian flag. <laughs> uh, otherwise, this was all only beige, beige, uh, uh, goldish. Gold, yeah. Yeah. And, and gray, uh, dark gray cement. Uh, base. Mm -hmm. So all these squarish uh, decoration you, you see on the walls, they are all, uh, we call it, I mean, it must be also in Italian, pico, in uh, cement, yeah. you know. Yeah. They, they hit by hammer, uh, you know, it's a, it's a hammer with, uh, with, uh, with an edge. Uh, yeah. So you make decoration. Ah, okay. yeah.
Then we walk a bit uh, faster okay. in case we don't. Uh, So with the Pristina Summer School, we were divided in three groups. The first group was called Taxonomy for the Public Space and Common Ground. So first of all, we were uh, analyzing uh, in a big map uh, we were individuating abandoned and scattered space in the city and we were mapping the already existing uh, public spaces that uh, are public building facilities and also square and whatever. Uh, doing that we were preparing a taxonomy with a kind of uh, document that is recognizing uh, the typology, the name, the architect, the year of construction and the location. This is the example for example of the National Library of Kosovo. So in that sense uh, uh, we were uh, analyzing all this typology and signing what it is, if it's clean, if uh, have a clear identification, then uh, if it's needed with a new infrastructure and uh, it's, if it's open or not to the public. <laughs> 